Some of you reached out to me confused about why you received this letter in the mail. I'm community reporter Carson Wells, and I figured out why you're being auto-enrolled in 3CE Energy and what that means for your electric bill. Being automatically opted into anything sounds like a bad idea to me. I spoke to Atascadero residents who tell me they received this flyer in the mail. There is a lot of confusion surrounding what 3C is and what being auto-opted into it means. Central Coast Community Energy is a local government agency. We were formed in 2017 and um, we go all the way from Santa Cruz County down to Santa Barbara County. We already serve this cities in San Luis Obispo County except for Atascadero. If you live in Atascadero or any unincorporated area in San Luis Obispo County, the flyer you'll receive says that beginning in January of next year, your energy will start coming from 3CE. They also have very competitive rates. So last year, for example, um, our residential electricity rates were about 17% lower uh, than PG&E on average. Stedman also tells me that the reason residents are auto-enrolled is because 3CE is a part of CCA, or Community Choice Aggregation, a program that allows cities or counties to purchase or generate power for their residents. I think that's great. I mean, I think it's too low. Who doesn't want their rates to be lowered? And, and yeah. if, it's, uh, if they're doing more uh, with renewable that's great. On your end, there won't be much of a change. All billing, meter reading, maintenance, and outage response services will be provided or done through PG&E. Say like there are two neighbors and one neighbor chooses to stay enrolled and one neighbor chooses to opt out. Can you kind of break down what or how their experience is going to differ? So for the customer that decides to enroll in 3CE, they will essentially do nothing um, because the enrollment will be automatic. And what will happen to them after enrolling is that they'll have um, access to additional programs for electrification of buildings and transportation, um, which they can stack with PG&E's programs. If you opt out within 60 days of January 1st, it's free and you'll just continue to get your energy from PG&E. If you wait longer than the 60 day period, you'll have to pay a $5 fee. I'll have all the information for how to opt out on this story at ksby.com. Central Coast Community Energy is expected to speak at the San Luis Obispo County Board of Supervisors meeting on November 12th. I looked into this story because one of you reached out to me with questions. If you have something you want me to look into, call, email, or scan the QR code on your screen. In San Luis Obispo, Carson Wells, KSBY News.